Maximizers, welcome to another installment of how I spent my money this week. We're gonna be covering the second week of January and I'm gonna be opening up my budget planner and I'm gonna be sharing with you how I spent my money. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Crystal, AKA Crystal Maximizer, and I am a strategic money coach. And I help moms create financial stability through proactive planning and strategic money management. And literally having a budget and checking in with your spending is a great way to manage your money. So I wanted to share with you all how I do that and how I review my expenses to see if I'm over or under my current budgets. So I'm gonna go ahead, flip my camera around, open up my budget planner, and we're gonna see how I spent my money this week. All right, Maximizers, this is my planner. It has my life and business and my budget planner all in one. This is an A5 ring agenda. It has Erin Condren daily duo inserts, and I had basically what you call a Franken planner, where you put your planner together and you make it what you want. And it's an A5 ring agenda. I got the actual cover from an Etsy shop. I got the bow from an Etsy shop, tabs from Etsy shop, and then a lot of stuff from Erin Condren. So what I'm gonna do is make sure this is in frame and I am going to open to my budget planner. Like this is what the front of it looks like, but it has my life, business, everything in here. We are gonna go to the back and we're gonna click budget and then we'll open up to my budget spread. We're gonna go to January. This is what my overview looks like for January for bills. And then we're gonna pull out our expense tracker and I'm just gonna close this up actually. I need this because we gotta do the total. I'm gonna close this up and we are gonna focus on the sheet. I realized I should have did it in a different color, but I've already written out everything because last time I found it a little bit hard to write while I talked. <laughs> so I realized that I need to write it out. So what we're doing is we are going to be tracking my spending from January 9th through the 15th. So I'm liking Monday to Sunday, that's what's working best. And then we're gonna tally up how much we spent. I'm gonna talk to you all about what we did this week and this weekend so you can get a better understanding. So last time we ended on the 8th. So since then, I went couponing at CVS. I had not couponed at CVS in a long time. I spent $20.59. And my couponing budget for the month, I believe, is $100. So we are below that. I might've given myself a little more because we have a lot of coupon in the catch up on, but we spent $20 cash out of pocket at CVS. Then, so I do gig work for one of my sorority sisters. She sells Greek stuff, sorority stuff, AKA Delta, all the things she sells them. And basically she sends us on gigs to sell her stuff for her. So this weekend we had to go to Fort Lauderdale to do an event. So we did have some travel expenses. She pays us for that. So I'm gonna pay myself back from the money that she pays me, if that makes sense. But we do incur personal food and travel costs. And then she pays us for actually working and selling her products. So we went to Fort Lauderdale. So we got dinner at Publix. So we bought Publix chicken and a couple other things. We spent $32.38 at Publix. And I put that as eating out. I hope y'all can see. Let me get a little bit closer. Okay, that's better. So we spent... $32.38 at Publix. Then <laughs> the dates are kind of out of order because if you know how the bank processes your stuff, we bought the vacuum cleaner before then, but it processed on this day. So the dates are gonna be a little bit jacked up. Our vacuum cleaner and our carpet cleaner broke. Bay is a neat freak and he was like, I need a carpet cleaner, I need a new vacuum cleaner because they really weren't working. And the carpet cleaner we had for maybe three, four years, the vacuum cleaner I've had for probably six years. So we've really gotten our money's worth. So he went online and found them. So we spent $210.87 buying a vacuum cleaner and a carpet cleaner, which we will use these things for years to come. And my mom's coming in town. So Bay's like, we gotta clean. And also our carpet was kind of filthy. So we definitely needed we needed that, so I put that under household. I did not anticipate to spend this much on household in January, so I'm just going to have to take from my sinking fund and refill from there. But we spent $210.87 on the vacuum cleaner and the carpet cleaner. Bay got stuff from the smoke shop, bought some stuff for himself from 7-Eleven, so that totaled around like $8 for his stuff coming out of his personal allowance. I try to give us around $100 a month to do whatever we want. 
then flip over to the back let me pull this down so because we traveled we got gas twice on the way down we got gas once on the way back and then I needed to take Bay to the airport on Monday so we got gas again when we got back home because we have a little bit of a drive to the airport so we spent 36 33 on gas we spent $25 on gas while we were in Fort Lauderdale we got pizza so what we usually do is the day that we're actually selling the items, we always order Domino's pizza. So we spent $25.97 for pizza. That actually was our lunch and our dinner combined with the Publix chicken that we bought the night before. So realistically, we really only spent about $50 on food for a weekend. I think that was great. We also packed a cooler with snacks and drinks. So we did not have to buy anything to drink while we were out because we brought our own water, our own Gatorade, our own juice. I even made myself some smoothies. I made myself a salad. Kinsley made herself sandwiches. Bray Bay bought himself a sandwich. So we packed some snacks and stuff to bring with us. So we only spent $50 from Friday afternoon to Sunday afternoon because we were home by like two o'clock on Sunday so that's all we spent on food I think that's great for three days and we're going to continue to do that as we do more events for her I did buy Kinsley a snack in the hotel because she did really well so I let her go down to like the snack bar in the hotel and buy what she wanted it was like six dollars we need to air my tire that's two dollars I'm gonna take that from gas Bay went out of town so he went to the smoke shop again spent sixteen dollars and then these are our two gas transactions when we got back. So on our way coming home, we spent $29 on gas. And then before we went to the gas station on, I'm sorry, before we drove to the airport on Monday morning, we got gas again on Sunday. So we did spend, we spent more money in gas than we did on food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my calculator i'm gonna speed this portion up and we are going to see what our total was for this week and this is super duper eye-opening y'all so eye-opening to see how much money we spent in a week which i know this vacuum cleaner is gonna put us like remember i told y'all we wasn't spending six hundred dollars every single week but the vacuum cleaner is definitely gonna put us over what I wanted to spend again I did not want to buy that but when they both broke it was like come on now we gotta we we we, we gotta buy it okay plus eight dollars plus 1602 plus 2933 plus 34.84 so it's not as bad as last week it's still more than I than I want to be spending so we spent four hundred forty seven dollars and eighty five cents on expenses and as you can see a lot of gas for traveling eating out base personal and couponing more base personal and household so it's going down next week maybe well not even next week the following week is going to be a little high because my mom and my sister are going to be in town and i'm going to be spending money with them i'm allocating around 300 dollars, so i'm hoping that that works i'm gonna cash out a gift card for we're going to top golf so i'm going to cash out my fetch as soon as i get to twenty seven thousand. i'm going to cash out my fetch and use that to help us with reduced spending so again this week we spent four hundred dollars so so far for two weeks we spent a thousand dollars on expenses which is kind of high but very understandable because we got things that we needed because what in the first week we bought did we buy our bikes? Yeah, I bought our bikes, didn't I? I'm trying to figure out how I spent so much. No, it wasn't the bikes that spent so much. It was the damn car maintenance. I bought the bikes in December, if I'm not mistaken. It's the damn car that got us the first week. So it is what it is. The thing about this, I, I want you all to see that there's power in knowing where you're spending your money and what you're doing so that you can make an informed decision on moving forward. I haven't spent much on groceries, um, because we did have some food stamps, shout out to those, but we haven't spent much on groceries and I haven't spent much on couponing. I've only spent this $20 so far. So I'm very proud of our regular spending. It's just the things that we weren't planning to buy that we actually needed, but it's okay because we have money in our sinking funds to cover that. Let me flip the camera back around. 
So I hope that you can see the value in tracking your expenses so you can really have a handle and a hold on what you're doing with your money and really staying informed. And if you need to make any pivots, changes, and shifts in the way that you're spending, you can do that. If you wait until the end of the month, it is going to be too late for you to be able to change any of your spending habits. Spending your money is not bad. You made the money, you should absolutely spend it. But what could be detrimental to you is if you're spending your money on things that you don't want to, things that are unnecessary, things that you really don't need, and you're not being able to have the money to do the things that you want. If you want more help and support with this, definitely join us inside the Money Saving Academy. We cover all things budgeting, couponing, meal planning to help you be super intentional with your money and create that financial stability that you are searching for. You can get more details at moneysavingacademy.com and you can use Use the code YouTube to save $10 off of your first month. So if you have any additional questions about my specific spending for this week, let me know down in the comments. If this video is for helpful for you, can you drop some money signs in the comments? I would love to know if this is helpful and me sharing with you my spending, what we're doing and why we're doing it. If that helps you on your money saving and financial stability journey. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next week.